Are you having trouble stopping players on the red zone in Man 25 with plays like this? Well, then you came to the right video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to stop the, uh, what was known last year as the problem fade out of the doubles formation, out of single back doubles, and we're going to take a look at it. So what they're going to do is they're going to have two guys to the left here, and the key here, and, and what we want to do is we want to come out in a package that will line up with doubles. One of the packages that comes to mind is any nickel package in the game. It would either be nickel 335, nickel normal, nickel wide 9, nickel, sh uh, nickel 416. All these packages will line us up over directly over this guy. And what we want to do is we want to call the play cover 3. You see this flat zone is going to line up over him. Now the only other adjustment we need to make is we need to take Dominique Rogers Camardi here and put him in a flat zone as well. And then I like to also shade over there with more, put him in maybe a purple zone. And then to just for good measure, I'll drop uh, two spies and I'll man up the defensive tackle on a running back. And this is kind of my red zone defense um, for for down in this area. Because it's really difficult to stop, uh, or it's really difficult for the offense to move on this down here, at least passing-wise. So here we're going to go. We're going to set up the fade again. And now you're going to see he's going to get pressed, and I'm going to try to throw it, and it's just not going to happen. It's not working. So now I'm going to go to my second read, because in cover three, what's going to happen, if you just run a regular cover three, they're going to be able to hit the other fades, the double fades. They're going to be able to hit the one on the left there. Now, whether he catches it or not is up to the player, but you see... This is what becomes a problem. So that's why we like to put Dominic Rogers Camardi in a flat zone. We like to put Moore in a purple zone to the left side of the field. Make sure he's going to the left. And then I've actually really like to put Bailey in a spy. But you can do whatever you want with him. And then, like I said, you know, you really want to have a guy manned up on the running back. Maybe a spy for the tight end zig. And what's going to happen here is now we're going to try to throw that second fade. And now he's going to get pressed too. And Cromartie's going to play the fades better. And this is going to lock up those nasty bubble screen uh, fades in the red zone that we have a lot of time trouble stopping. Um, so thank you guys for clicking on this video. And I really appreciate your support. Be sure to like the video if, you, if this helps you in Madden 25. Guys, probably one of the best red zone defenses is cover three with the quarterback spire too. Uh, it locks a lot of things up that a lot of people like to do especially out of the nickel normal for, for situations like this. Now, what if they run the ball? Uh, real quick, I did want to go over that. If they run a halfback dive or something, and we, we do our hot routes, so everything's as is. You got our guy manned up. And we like to use our, either a linebacker or a safety, just depending on whatever. So for this example, we're going to use our linebacker. They run halfback dive. Our job with Moore is to just blow the run up, and that's really actually pretty easy at a nickel normal because nickel normal aligns the formation really effectively for blowing up runs uh, for whatever reason. I don't know exactly why, but it seems like on halfback dives and stuff like that, we're able to just walk by the line here. So you see if I could just calm up the line. Um, whoops, I forgot to put him on a halfback dive. Give me one second here. Um, but we'll, we'll just be able to walk through the line of scrimmage here and just make the tackle. And, you know, you just got to go up and make a tackle. Obviously, with two controllers, it's a little more difficult. But when you're in a game, you'll be easily able to do this. Just walk through the line here wrap up and, and there you go so thank you guys for watching today if you have any questions leave them in the comments below if you have any trouble with certain plays stopping the goal line please let me know if you guys are looking to stop quarterback sneak check out my 46 normal scheme of the week it has a really good play there for 40 for uh, stopping the quarterback sneak in the red zone so be sure to check that out but as far as stopping those pesky fades and bubble screens uh, this is what we're going to be using to stop that so thank you guys so much for watching this is our, our how to tip of the week for Madden 25 and thank you guys so much for watching be sure to comment on the video for any questions and hit me up on Twitter or my email address in the description for any further questions. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you we'll see you next week.